watching these pieces all stacked up, it is kind of satisfying. I'm not even going to lie to you. Man, look at that shit. That was work right there. Look at it, man. So this is my other trailblazer I have. It's just a regular one. Look how much space we got in this thing. We have all kinds of space to do whatever we want. Look, and like I said, this truck right here, we're going to take base racing to a whole nother level, guys. Like, when I say this thing's going to be nasty, this thing is going to be very, very nasty. Finally back on woodworking on our page, man. So definitely stay tuned for the full video. Now we're uh, routering out some panels that we need to get done today for my homeboy's uh, console. And then we'll see where the, the day takes us. Listen, it actually is gonna feel good getting back to the working grind, man, because your boy missed it. I know you guys missed it. Let's quickly uh, catch up on everything. So my white Silverado, man, we're doing the killer build on it. You already know. You know, right there you see the fourth order bandpass box. It is almost done. And we actually have our 412 Sundown subs that we will be putting in here with our MD Terra Amps 5K, along with other Terra Amps that we are gonna be doing. But man, we're actually adding a little twist to that truck, man. But for now, we actually gotta get back on the grind um, with my friends. Uh, identical consoles that we're doing for his two Ford trucks, a flare side and a lightning. Uh, we're today we're just gonna router out all the side pieces that we need for it it's two two four six eight eight pieces that we got to router out today guys and they have to be routed out today it's very like 11 o'clock so it'll probably take us like a good solid two hours to get that done and then after that man we're gonna take a trip because I'm gonna show you what a project's gonna come to the channel man uh, we got very strongly motivated going out to the show this past weekend and we're actually gonna take base racing to the next level man so definitely stay tuned man because we're gonna man it's time to really do this youtube stuff you see what i'm saying it's really time to do this youtube stuff and you know you guys are gonna be a part of it you guys are the gang you already know man we try to do a little bit of big dog stuff out here, but we'll see what happens a few moments later actually this is our main piece and we actually have to route around all the pieces to look like this guy so what we're actually gonna do is we're just gonna set it on top of the piece of the our plain uh, piece of wood and we're just going to trim, well, we're going to trace out the, um, the stencil that we need. We're just like that. Come out like that. And we're actually going to do this to every single one of them, guys. Um, because then we just actually cut right underneath it to where it's like barely nothing that we got to run on our table saw. So it makes it a lot easier for us to run through and not that much to cut. You see what I'm saying? Um, but we'll see what happens. I'm probably almost tempted to run it through the table saw to cut a square section out so we at least have like ring, uh, wood for other stuff, um, which we probably will do. You know, why not? And you know, just cut a square just so we can save some wood because uh, you never know when you're going to need it. But you know, let me go ahead and trace all eight of them out and then we're going to get on the grind with it, man, on the router table today, guys. And definitely um, stay tuned, man, subscribe, man, because the videos from here. It's fantastic stuff, fantastic. We got every single piece uh, somewhat traced out so we can cut on the outside line of it so we can get a bare raw piece. Um, this one's ready to rock and roll. We got extra pieces that we got that we could use for our grills on the side, grill screens, uh, cup holder mounts, etc, etc. Um, so next step is, I'm going to bust out my jigsaw. Like I said, I'm just going to cut right underneath that. So the router, when we go on the router table, um, it works less. And it doesn't require a lot of uh, work from us. We just let the router do its thing and get that done very nice and perfectly. And we do have to cut eight of them out because two of them are going to be for the shell per console. And then two of them per uh, the sides of the shell. Are gonna get the ones that get wrapped um, for the console as well so we need uh, eight pieces total 
we already got one cut out so that means we just need seven to go and but right now we're just going to cut out all the excess that we don't need and then we're going to get on the router table right there how we just leave a little bit of extra so we can let the router table do its thing uh, not a lot of bulk but man it will get it done especially with that big dog router right there man so let me finish cutting out these eight real quick and then we're just we're just gonna jump right into it with the router a few moments later I don't want nothing laying around while I'm on the router table. We got all of our pieces cut out. We got the extra one over there plus the, the template is over there as well too. We got some extras from the other sides that we cut out that once we get done we're just going to square cut out a big portion of that because you never know what we could use extra wood for. And so now we are going to go ahead and set our base cut and our template on top, staple it, and then run it through the router so we can get the same identical piece so we have everything ready for the company. Okay, so we pretty much got her lined up wherever we want her to be at. So now it's just a matter of stapling her down so uh, she don't move while we're routering her out. You know what I'm saying? And I know people, they got the tape, everything, but this is what works for me. It's probably gonna keep working. So I'm gonna just stick with it. Okay, we have our router uh, set. We have this piece ready to rock and roll. So let's see what we can do now. There we go, man. We got a perfect cutout. You've seen it. We did have to maneuver around it because it is a bigger piece and our table is not that big. But, you know, we know that it's possible. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and break it apart, staple on to the next one, and keep on going. And then once I get done with that, I'll pick up the camera again. I'm not going to bore you with so much routery. So we have eight identical three-quarter inch console templates that we need. Um, very tedious work but I can stack them and they're all the same size you know because we did it on our router table now one thing I am gonna do is this is a one inch shank which means like how high it is if I can get like a inch and a half shank with teeth on it that'd be perfect you know what I'm saying it does work but I feel like it would just catch that wood better and just glide right through it um, and obviously whenever we get stationed up, stationed up in an actual wood shop we are gonna make our table like really big so we don't have to worry about picking it up, levitation or any of that. So um, now I just gotta go ahead and grind off all the staples from every single one of them. And these templates are done guys. I'll tell you what gang, watching these pieces all stacked up, it is kind of satisfying, I'm not even going to lie to you. Man, look at that. That was work right there, no lie guys. Between measuring it out, cutting the template out, and then cutting it on the radio, ra uh, um, router. Sorry about that, I blinked out. To seeing all the pieces come to life, man, we were slowly getting there. 
stacked up, man. Now I know how the guys feel whenever they do those stacked boxes. So many of the same pieces. Look at this, I just stacked them even better, man. Look at that. Perfect, guys. This is crazy. Watching this is like satisfying. When I was on the router table, I was like, man, this shit's crazy, but man, it is satisfying. Look at that. Man, we got everything cleaned up. Look, bam. Like nothing ever happened. Let me tell you, if you were to try to heavy carry all these uh, router out pieces, you're sw you're swole and you're strong. Uh, your boy couldn't do it. I had to carry two at a time, man. You know, that stuff is very... Three-quarter inch MDF, man. That stuff heavy. Let me get cleaned up. And then in a little bit, once I get settled down and everything, we're going to go check out a surprise for you guys. Stay tuned. Subscribe, like, comment, do all that YouTube stuff. Yeah, I got a little nice surprise for you guys. So let's get it. A few moments later. All right, so we got cleaned up. I mean, we got a little bit dressed up. You know, it feels nice when you got nice clothes on. But anyways, um, so I'm actually on the way right now to go pick up the kids from school. But here shortly, man, I need to get a car wash bad. So here shortly, man, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys our next build. Um, I think we're going to kind of like build it at the same time that we do the other trailblazers. So we have two trailblazers going out. Like I said, you know, my trailblazer assessment, that's the baby. But this other one, man, this, this one has sentimental value to it. And, you know, that's why we're going to go all out with her, man. So, you know, stick with the video. Man, it, it's, you, you guys going to, you know, you just got to think positive with this next build that we're going to do. And we're going to make it amazing and loud, loud. So... Let me go ahead and pick up these kids from school and concentrate because this is traffic right now. And you know, I'll pick up the camera once we get to where the truck's at and you guys will see what's going on. All right, so we finally made it, man. So this is my other trailblazer I have. It's just a regular one, nothing too crazy. I do have the Super Sport at the house, two different trucks. But this thing's been sitting here, but I think it's time to give it some love. So check it out. So look, this is my wheel, my other one that I had on my truck. This thing got annihilated. But anyways, look how much space we got in this thing. We have all kinds of space to do whatever we want. Look, and already there's no dash in this thing, man. So that is a plus. I We're going to take out a lot of that electrical, a lot of that AC. I don't know, we'll maybe keep the AC because the AC works good, but we just need ducts. But look, the door panels are already gone. Um, and like I said, this truck right here, we're going to take base racing to a whole nother level, guys. Like... When I say this thing's going to be nasty, this thing is going to be very, very nasty. This is just going to be a two front seat type of build. Uh, we're going to do like a tunnel with a wall, maybe six or eight twelves. Um, the dash is going to stay like this. We're just going to clean it up, get all the wires that we don't need. Um, door panels, we're going to make some steel metal door panels with just maybe like two eights and tweeters on them. I don't know yet. We're going to get rid of all the plastic panels, everything. We're going to brace a lot of this stuff up. And we're gonna, like I said, man, we're gonna take base racing to a whole nother level. I do have a blown motor in this thing, but I am gonna put a 5.3 uh, V8 in here. Uh, you know, probably do like a little cam, you know, a little racing stuff. But what I'm gonna do with these alternators, I'm gonna do two alternators on this thing. But I, they're definitely gonna be Mac Mans, man. But we're gonna drop this truck and give it a lot of love. And then we're gonna get it painted and everything. And this thing's gonna be a whole nother, you know, a whole nother build, man. You know what I'm saying? We have like minor stuff on it, but it, it's ready, guys. I think we're going to do something very nasty with this truck, and you guys are going to be a part of this thing, man. So this is going to be our new project starting January 1st. Um, we're going to get, we're going to finish Silverado, and then we're going to get on this thing. We're going to show it lots of love, and this thing is going to be ridiculous. And this is what we're going to be giving demos out of, man. I love my troubles. I love this truck, and we just can't get rid of it. Like I said, man, subscribe and drop some comments. Let me know in the comments what you think about the whip, man. We're going to really get it done. You know, trust the process like I always say, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of the build uh, of uh, this Trailblazer. Uh, man, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that like button, man, because we're going to need all that for this build right here, guys. Man, you know, it's definitely going to go down. I appreciate you guys watching today. Uh, sorry I made you wait so long just to see this this ugly truck man, but it's gonna be worth it at the end trust me trust the process and With that being said the family's here. We're about to go eat some wings and call it a day man And you guys will be watching this video tomorrow morning man So with that being said subscribe to the channel